around the age of seven, when I was back in the UK, I was doing a few school tests and I was really struggling to, to read uh, the topics. But yeah, that was, that was the age I, I found out that I was dyslexic. And I met up with Dave and I told him, hey Dave, I'm really interested in, in being a plumber for you and, and doing my apprenticeship for you. And he was really keen. I let him know, hey look, I'm, I'm dyslexic. Uh, my response to that was, was um, there must be a way through this, Harry. You're, you're, you're keen to do it. Let's have a talk to Skills. Uh, Skills had already been in contact with Harry through, um, through his uh, Polytech. So the process from there on was, was very easy. I think the biggest breakthrough was Harry actually saying that he, he has got a problem and, um, and, and he needed help. Being dyslexic doesn't mean that you can't learn just like everyone else. It is a learning difference, so it's about how you process information and how you uh, take in the information to get a better understanding. So with Harrison and other apprentices we work with, uh, we put together a learning plan. Uh, part of the plan for Harrison was to arrange a reader writer for him. We also um, arranged a resource um, called C Reader Pen, which uh, reads out the text loud. And that, you know, really helped, I think, Harry. So what I tend to do is I like to get the plan and, and draw out what I'm going to do and then make like a little 3D drawing of how it's going to line up and, and all measure out. And that, then I interpret that with the code and that works much better for me. And I would say, don't be scared. Like, don't be scared to ask. It's like, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. As soon as I asked for it, uh, help, they were more than willing to um, come round, see me, um, see, see what they can do to assist me um, and, and work, work with me. Yeah, and I, and I really appreciate that and enjoyed that.